Yes, you read the title right. This success booster has another addition to its body language compilations with another body part. Today, you're going to learn how to decode ear body language, and trust me, it'll be easier than trying to decipher Van Gogh's painting. In fact, ears are one of the most easiest parts to learn when it comes to body language, so let's hop into it. Five body language cues to know. Number one, touching the ears. Touching, rubbing, or scratching the ears is a self-soothing gesture that might happen when someone feels nervous or anxious. Some people touch their ears as a subconscious way to block out what they hear, just like the hear no evil monkey emoji. According to research, people generally scratch behind their ears during situations of conflict as a way to ease tension and stress. Also, look for this cue during conversation. It can signal that the other person has heard enough and wants their turn to speak. However, be careful not to mix it up with someone playing or adjusting their earrings. Number two, pulling earlobes. Many people may pull their earlobes, especially out of habit, if they had an earring there or maybe removed. Otherwise, earlobe pulling may be a self-soothing gesture similar to touching. Just don't read into it too much. Not everyone's going to be using it to send secret messages like Carol Burnett. Number three, tucking hair behind the ears. Tucking hair behind the ear can be a sign of interest. People may do this to appear more attractive and keep clean. It's often a sign of preening that indicates someone cares about their appearance. However, it could just mean that someone's hair is in their face and it's annoying. Number four, ear leaning. The definition of ear leaning is when someone turns their ear towards a speaker. Ear leaning signals to someone that they're listening intently, want something repeated, or may even be hard of hearing. Sometimes ear leaning may be followed by cupping the ear to collect more sound. Number five, red ears. Red ears happens when the blood vessels in our ears open wider, usually in reaction to an emotional situation. Red ears can be a sign of stress or embarrassment. People who are nervous presenters might show signs of red ears. Earrings or jewelry. Ear ornamentation is very cultural specific. It communicates social status, courtship availability, or group identification. It also gives very accurate insight into the background, occupation, social status, heritage, or personality of a person. So earrings can be a huge attraction signal and can help you or damage others' perception of you. Let's take a look at the science. So when should you wear them? Research shows that females who wear earrings in social situations are considered more attractive, while people wearing jewelry in an interview are considered less credible. Finally, listening to music. What's your favorite jam? Besides making you more productive, music is highly personal, and you can infer someone's personality traits from their tastes. People in high openness tend to like sophisticated music, like classical, operatic, world, and jazz. They also dislike mellow and contemporary music, like soft rock, rap. Extroverts tend to like uncomplicated, relaxing, and acoustic mo music, like folk and country. Agreeable people like music across the board, more than the average person does. Neurotic people are less likely to like music if there's no specific genre playing. Music also has the power to trigger our nostalgic memories and evoke our deepest emotions. So did you find this guide helpful? Feel free to comment down below if you think we missed anything and give this video a like. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to the Success Bistro if you want more videos like this.